Sweet, more knowledge in the air. I was just thinking about this one, wheat, which was the um, the Woolwich, the Woolwich uh, event. It was a few years ago now, like it. Yeah, Woolwich. Well, I sort of took a look at this Woolwich place, right? Of course, very weird uh, scenes, you know, like they one looks bad, really. <coughs> you know, like uh, sort of. Bro was just murdered in the street type of thing, and, you know, people was just standing around very casually and very, you know, until being by the body position, it's just very relaxed and then, like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, so obviously this was one of the worst hexes, you know, the most, you know, pitiful hexes you yeah, ever, sure and one. So this, this Woolwich here place, right, as well as the Woolwich Arsenal, which is in the, um, like a military barracks type of thing and that so it's famous as a military barracks area right but you also have this um this black theater the idea in it right? which is called the tram shed <coughs> so now the, the kurds right i've done these kurds a few times the tram shed you know what tram is basically right and this is apparently a young person's theater you know it's in, involved in local community groups and young people's theatre and stuff like that right so you can just imagine how that ties in with the um the two characters that was in this Woolwich hex right, right the trans shed and it's a theatre company and community arts hub based in the heart of Woolwich also in the, uh, previously known as Lewisham Young People's Theatre right so it's you know they're in the day in young people's yeah, urban street theatre and all this, you know, you couldn't get more urban street theatre than that here. What a checks, could you? You know what I mean? They could open a little dramatic dialogue or something, the amateur dramatics and that, see? Of course, here's your 41 for your, um, your 14 dollars 7, see? <coughs> Practitioners and freelancers. See, as you can see, this is, you know, basically Relating very much to that wool of checks. And of course the wool witch, you know, the witch in the air, uh, the wool as in the sheep. So you know you can see basically there was a two other hex on it against the uh, against people like Jerry Black Theatre Alive, the tram shed, contact Jeremy James. Yeah, 51 to 53 in Woolwich New Road. So, you know, 5 and 1 or 6 in day 53 is our genocide idea what, what I've done in that video. Here right? yeah, you go, he has the uh, diary of a hound's little girl. Right? Yeah, by the Mandala Theatre Company. So, you can see basically how this uh, ties in with our Woolwich Hex. Yeah, Arts, Arts Council of England. Right? The Arts Council. And there's a you know Tara. So it's you know it's very trans, isn't it? And, you know, whole thing. Also the uh, the character in the hex was called Rigby, right? So here we have the Eleanor Rigby, which is the most famous example of Rigby, right? And in uh, London and all that, the statues of and everything, like Eleanor Rigby. Yeah, right now Liverpool is is, is uh, you know like um, the grave of it and these statues and the uh, sculptures about it so it's very uh you know it's like a big idea to them and that with these teas and the uh, he has the uh the meaning of eleanor rigby right eleanor rigby was an old lonely right? <laughs> who no one cared about because you isolate yourself right? um remember that isolation thing in the covid right yeah uh, no one cared about that right so this is our stuff. This is like the T's talking about naturals, right? The uh, Eleanor wiping the dirt means getting rid of something and forgetting about it. So this is our relating to natural people. You know, the T's wanting rid of the natural people, right? That's, you know, what it's all about, a Rigby uh, name and that. Witchcraft, see? And all the lonely people, right? That's basically the, where the T's view natural people. If you're not in their Masonic uh, club or whatever you call it, right? 
You are like the lonely people on the Hollis, where do they belong, see? Because these teas, you know, they spies naturals, it's the whole day game and that. Oh, them no rippy, yeah. yeah. It's a band or something, it must be a band or something. Call that a no rippy, but if that doesn't look like a trans, you know what I mean? Again, right, see? Yeah. Dedicated to all the lonely people. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's a bit of a coded thing, you know. That means all the natural people, see? And then, of course, El, El, you know, is God. And the, um, the drinking, the elixir, right? So, you know, it's just totally coded, isn't it? Of course, this is the uh, Rigby. Uh, Lee, Jubilee, Jubilee, a cup of rosy. Of course, broke these um, the T ones that were supposed to have done it was yeah, called Michael, eh? Michael. The two Michaels. The little drummer boy, the drummer. Michael the Orbean, you know. Obviously, you know, like a war idea and all that, bringing the sword and all that, like. Non Servian, non Servian. They're probably bringing the sort of sword against naturals who would not be a servant in that scene. With these hexes and that. Michael is often depicted in art wielding a sword or a spear. Blue Guardian Angels Angelic leader and spiritual battle as a lot says it all see a spiritual battle against natural people right? Defend our guardian of God's people, which is the tea drinkers. See, very crude there. Eh? Soldiers in battle. Eh? We have this right here, Woolwich. Woolwich, the sheep's wool and heart were traditionally used in witchcraft. In the room someone's sleeping in, bewitch them. And there you go. Witch's sheep whistle in the Museum of Witchcraft. So like a bit of a sheep, like a sheep, which is...